Hey gang, Scott here. So I've been wrestling with this particular photo and how to go about cropping it and realized, let me turn on the camera, uh, share some of this with you, because I'm sure this is something that happens to you all the time, right? You've got a photo, y you like it, but uh, you're, you're, you're wrestling with the crop, and it happens to all of us. Uh, this is the photo that I'm, I'm uh, kind of grinding my gears on, and why did I frame it this way when I took the photo is like the first question I'm asking myself, right? And I look at the crop here and bring up the crop tool. Um, let me get to my triangle shape, which I really like uh, the most. And I know that I liked these, like these undulating, rolling, you know, um, stone. This is all just like, you know, rock that's there. But as I am, I'm looking at this, it's like, ah, uh, it's like, I want, I want this, this rolling part here. And I, I bring it up like, you know, like so. And let me put the lights out mode on a little bit here because it helps me, me uh, pay more attention. Um, I don't know if I want it dead center. I kind of like this curl here. Um, maybe pull it in from this point. Cause I like this. You know, I got a, I got a, you know, kind of a, a swoop here. I hit this dark patch, and then I, I'll bounce back to the tree. Um, maybe too much on this side, you know. And then where I where I really struggled is like, okay, I want to go higher. Um, the way that I framed this, you know, returning to the original framing, I was preoccupied with this rolling stone in the foreground and didn't give myself enough sky to work with. You know, now that I'm, I'm here and wrestling with this crop and I've tried things like, you know, oh, what if I did like, you know, an eight by 10 and um, just for uh, the moment here, do something like that, then back to eight by 10 and, you know, well, what would it look like, you know, if I did something like this? You know, I have the same problem. I want these rolling rock things here, but then I'm cramping the, the tree up at the top. And when I'm done with that kind of crop, you know, the photo just feels really heavyweight. You know, the subject is the tree. And this cool rock formation is contextual. It's like leading me to the tree. And then when I'm, I'm cropping for everything you know that is interesting in the foreground i'm left with well not enough up top and so i finally you know i kind of settled out at okay maybe i'll do something something in the neighborhood of this where i've got i've got a bit of this uh this curl um you know this like one undulation of of rock it bounces up to the second one i like this secondary piece it's there's some there's some good balance but realizing i need more sky and so i'm kind of positioning this so this tree is really on the center line or if i change my my crop line again you can see that was pretty close right down the center and the reason for that is i'm going to turn to generative expand to solve my problem add more sky that is really the problem that i had when i framed this photo in the field and you know three years ago it would have been a lot of lifting to uh, to correct this field mistake you know now you've got a tool that does you know a generative expand uh you know on one has one photoshop has one uh, you can just you know, expand the crop and include it i'm going to do this one um, i'm going to be in photoshop for it and in fact let me get this over into photoshop we'll edit smart object in photoshop and once that's over there, doing a generative expand to include more sky uh, is, is a breeze, and it will correct the, the, the problem that I've been wrestling with on the composition of this photo. In Photoshop, I'll shrink my view here a little bit, grab our crop tool, and just pull upward. And I'm really just going to center that tree in this middle square, like the tic-tac-toe here. I want that tree you know, really in the center, and just say generative expand go ahead, no prompting, just please go fix the problem that I created with this composition in the first place. And uh, then I'll be able to you know, select one of the one of the few variants that it's going to give me on, on uh, which which sky is going to blend in the best. So let's move this out of the way a little bit. Oops. Oh, no, I don't want to rate my result. I just want to move this out of the way. I'll rate you later. Two, three, 
I like that one. I think that one's a, a nice a nice fit to to the scene. And so now I have something that is um, a little more balanced. Uh, I'm I'm gonna go you know continue now editing this photo. But wanted to share you the 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 the, the compositional thoughts that were going on. And in uh, certain cases, like a photo like this, where you've got a nice you know kind of clean sky. Uh, Generative expand is, is it's a, it's almost it almost like screams you know go ahead and do this to me, and uh, that's solved my problem. Hope you found the video uh, useful, helpful, and if you got questions, go ahead and drop them below. Until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Have fun.